Our special edition on this live breaking news about King Charles III, who has been diagnosed with cancer. I'm joined now by my pack, talk to the contributor Esther Cracker, the Daily Mirror's associate, Mr. Kevin Maguire, and the political journalist Ava Santini. Well, it's still a bit of a shock, isn't it? Yeah. When we, and we've had a lot of them with the royals and health. We you know we lost Prince Philip, we lost the Queen, and then two weeks ago we suddenly woke up, and in the space of two hours, we had Charles in hospital, Kate, Princess of Wales in hospital, and now this massive escalation mm. in the King's health. Kevin, I know you're not a monarchist, but for the country, this is a bit of a seismic blow. Oh, it is, and look, and I, I wish him uh, a full and speedy recovery. He's more fortunate than the two in five people who don't get their cancer treatment to start within the two months they're supposed to on the NHS. But you, you, you're right, because look, he's just become king. It was only May, eight months ago, he had the coronation, and... I, I admire and respect the openness in saying he has a form of cancer, but, of course, the questions will come. Which cancer mm. is it? What is the stage? How will the treatment proceed? Because these are all, you know, all questions. When Interesting he, he, that he has a the, constitutional the role, News doctor, it? Dr Mark Siegel, theorising that because he's not being treated in, in hospital, hospital as an yeah. inpatient, he was quite encouraged by that. And he felt that lent more to potentially something like bladder cancer, which is very treatable, apparently, in this kind of situation. You know, we, we don't know, but he thought the fact he wasn't being kept in was a yeah. good sign. I, I've, I've known friends who've not been treated in hospital and they've died from cancer. And then, you know, because of the... Well, I think if you, course, get, the course of treatment if you get cancer at 75, yeah. whatever it yeah. is, it's not good. Ava, uh, what, do you, what do you make of this? I mean, it's just blown everything else up the... News is, is a huge development, as it always is with the royals, going around the world. What do you think? I mean, I mean, it's very sad that a man has got cancer, but let's just remember, he is he is but a man. He is not, you know, any more special. Just well, he is the king. Here. Yeah, but, you know, I think... That does make him quite special. He's a celebrity, and it's always very sad when celebrities are unwell, and I completely appreciate that. Mm. However, I would also say this is a really good moment in time to talk about statutory sick pay. So King Charles now doesn't have to work. He'll, do, you know, he'll do his phone call with the Prime Minister or whatever, but he's not going to his public engagement. He's 75 well, years old. He have to work anyway. He'd probably uh, retire. Okay. Why would you even want to be so churlish? I'm not being churlish. What I'm pointing out you is that... You think when a 75-year-old king okay, but there'll be women has cancer, you should be talking about statutory sick Today, who've woken up and they might be 56, they might need to go to work. Would they be working at 75 as hard as he does? About people who are 56. Do you know any 75 year old that works as hard as he does? I, I what hard? Okay, at 75? Let, look, let's not get into this today because I feel bad because a man is unwell and a family is unwell. You up don't think he works hard? I appreciate that. But look, you know, I think it's a pretty cushy job that I think many of us could a also do. Cushy job being yeah, king I, of England? I think I would be fine being king of England. Really? I think I could do it as a side job, actually. You'd have to identify as a man, which I know you probably would. <laughs> Uh, just because you could, right? Um, Esther, I, I don't share that view at all. Yeah. I don't think he has an easy life. I think he's had a very tough few years, actually, losing both his parents and then having a, a coronation to replace the most popular, longest-serving monarch in our history. history. Yeah. All very, very tough stuff. He's had all the stuff with Harry, you know, disenfranchised from one of his sons. I mean, he's not had this easy at all. Um, but whatever this is, it's serious, I think, from yeah. the way this has played out tonight. Of course, and I think most people are concerned with actually the constitutional implications of this, not just the fact that obviously this is a man who's in his 70s and he has been diagnosed with cancer. It's obviously tragic. Um, but there are questions of what he have to have. Abdicate, you know, mm. only a, about a year into his reign, what will happen with Prince William, who has three young children, and, he, you know, his his dynamic or well, family dynamic will change radically if he has to take on more more duties. I think that's probably the, the bigger implications. Look, yes, the UK does have, in terms of clinical outcomes, some of the lowest uh, cancer outcomes in the developed world. I mean, we're on par with, with Portugal and we spend as much on our NHS as the whole GDP of Portugal. So, you know, it is, it's not great. But at the end of the day, illness doesn't discriminate. I don't think saying that he has the best care somehow negates the fact that this is a man with cancer. If this was well, your I grandfather, you'd... the best you, care. He's, you'd, the, he's you'd, the king you'd, of you'd, England. You'd, no, yeah. even if he was your grandfather, yeah. you would want him to have yeah. the best it, 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 care. I, like, I'm glad they put out a statement and they've been more open than they have in the past, the royal family. But, but it raises so many questions. They should be answered in public because he is the ultimate public figure what in, in, in the that UK. Which, a... which cancer is it? What's, do you think he should be obliged it? to say that? I do. We never knew that about if, the if other world. If he's going to help other people, which mm. he says he wants to, and I think he did, talking about his Well, there might be a prostate. time when he does talk about what type of cancer, but then you, the mere you, fact he's talking about yeah. having cancer... But then you understand. Well, maybe, he maybe, is, maybe, he's, he's not, he's not about, Joe public. But also he think about it this way. Public, what if he needs time to process this? I mean, we're talking yeah. about... We're just oh, talking oh. about this breaking news. I yeah. think this we so quickly hours. forget that yeah, human, human. I've been yeah. guilty yeah. of it myself. I actually feel, yeah. really feel for Camilla yeah. tonight. 
this is the great love of her life. Mm -hmm. And he is fighting a battle for his life. Yeah. Uh, and she's got to go out and still be the yeah. queen, still do all, going to perform all her functional duties, apparently. Uh, he can't do his, but she'll have to do hers, whilst every yep. night going back to the reality mm -hmm. that her husband is is facing this huge battle. You're, you're absolutely right. I've been fortunate. I've never, I've never been diagnosed with cancer, but again, friends, family who are, Tell say me. everything stops. Everything stops. Mm. Everything stops when you just hear, uh, uh, everything I'm, stops. So, I'm it's sorry, a huge moment you have for cancer. All. Yeah. And you got William with the same with his wife. We don't know what happened mm. with Kate, but it must have been serious. She's for off, two weeks. off for, uh, for months. 